Mineplex is gone, 1.20 is out, and a bunch of different servers decided not to update to the latest version. Meaning that I gotta go ahead and make this list all over again, with game modes such as Skyblock, Factions, and even Prisons. These are typically not found on the featured server list, and in this video, we're gonna be going over servers that have just that, those types of game modes. Watch videos to the very end, trust me, it'll actually shock you. Hello YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video, and today I'm going to be going over the top 10 Minecraft Bedrock Edition servers that are not the featured servers, so these servers have a bunch of different game modes such as Skyblock, Prisons, Factions, you guys name it, but if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing and liking the video, but anyways, let's go to jump into the number 10 spot, which is going to be Avenge Tech. Avenge Tech mainly specializes in Prisons and even Skyblock, so let's go ahead and check out their Skyblock right now, and then you guys can go ahead and join in which is pretty cool so their skyblock hasn't really changed over the years but you guys can go ahead and check it out because this is probably one of the oldest servers that i know it's been around forever typing in the command slash isgo will bring you guys all the way over to your island and then you guys can go ahead and start on your skyblock adventure it seems like skyblock on these other servers are kind of obsolete now since cubecraft has skyblock but this is definitely a really cool experience because you can find things that are on on this server that are not typically on the others but anyways let's go ahead and check out their prison typing in slash hub we'll go ahead and bring you guys back to the hub just like this and you can go ahead and use the compass to go ahead and navigate they also do have the green die that's going to go ahead and get rid of any players and then clicking on the gray will go ahead and bring back the players they also have a feather that should go ahead and launch you up, which is cool. So we are now on their prison server, and honestly, we haven't seen too many prison servers like this, so I highly recommend checking it out. They have mines A through Z, and they also have prestiging as well, and I believe you can also join a gang in this one, so definitely go ahead and check out this prison, because I believe the featured servers can't necessarily have gangs, but let's go ahead and jump into the number 9 spots. Coming in at number 9, we do have penguin servers, so let's go ahead and check it out. So, penguin, aka SB server is actually really really cool and it does have cross play compatibility so let's go ahead and check it out I want to go to see what their survival game mode is about, so we're going to go ahead and hop on there, but they also do have Skyblock, and there's not too many people on the survival aspect of it, but mainly people are joining this server for Skyblock, so definitely keep that in mind, but I think it's actually really good that we're having diversity. We've already seen Skyblock prisons and even a survival right now, which is really good, already on the number 10 and 9 spots. So as you can see, you can go ahead and do a lot of cool things on this server. The cool thing about this survival is you can also go ahead and work a job just by by clicking on this guy right here you can go ahead and pick between like a fisherman you can go ahead and be like a lumberjack as well they also do have their chest shop right here which is cool i don't know how mobile friendly that is so definitely keep that in mind but we also do have the auction house so you can go ahead and gamble away things you can also go ahead and have player vaults and they also do have mini games on here as well which again there's not too many people so i don't know how many people are going to be playing mini games but let's go ahead and jump into the number eight spot which is going to be Bosscraft. Let's go ahead and check it out. Bosscraft has been around forever and they actually specialize in a variety of different game modes. But we're going to go ahead and check out their SMP Red. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. And I know you guys love survival. So I wanted to go ahead and include some more survival servers on this video. But as you guys can see right here, there's actually a decent amount of people playing survival. You guys can go ahead and play this with your friends, which is definitely really, really cool. And as you guys can see right here, we can actually have this like ship spawn, which is pretty cool. I've seen this on River Network before, something similar. So it seems like a lot of servers are going for this type of like medieval type spawn, which is definitely really, really cool. Typing in slash warp, so we'll go ahead and bring up this menu. You can go to spawn, you can go to PvP, but let's go ahead and check out the crates real quick. And we are actually here, so we can go ahead and gamble away. Whoa, okay, that guy is actually bowing off some crazy crates. And there's also kits. I believe there's a slash kits command as well to go ahead and get yourself a starter kit and then you want to go ahead and do slash wild to go ahead and get into the wild just like that we can go ahead and pick between a bunch of different like overworld we can pick through the nether and it's honestly a pretty cool experience so if you guys want to start survival then definitely check out boss craft today but we got to go ahead and check out the number seven spot because that server is definitely pretty cool coming in at number seven we do have the zader smp so let's go ahead and check it out 
This is yet again another survival, but before you guys get on me in the comment section, I'm not just filling this whole list with survival. This is definitely a really good server that you guys gotta go and check out, and it also does have cross-platform compatibility, but this server is probably one of the biggest SMPs I have found in a while, so I highly recommend checking out this server. You also have people building crazy things like this cactus farm, I believe this is. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it's definitely a pretty cool farm. And actually, yeah, it is a cactus farm. Okay, that's actually insane. And the cool thing is you can go ahead and claim your actual, like, area so people don't go ahead and break your stuff. So look at this. Right here, I can get... I can't just go ahead and get in here and break people. Oh, well, this guy's out of luck because he actually forgot to go ahead and claim this. And now anybody can go ahead and break it. And I believe you get a certain amount of claim blocks, which is definitely pretty cool. Going ahead and doing slash warps will go ahead and bring you guys to spawn and give you basically everything that you need. So let's go ahead and get ourselves the newer kit. And we have just redeemed it. And then I believe there's like a kit daily. There's also hourly kits as well. Or actually not hourly, but monthly, which is definitely really, really insane. So... Highly recommend going ahead and checking out this server. They also have cross-platform that I actually did mention before that will allow you guys to go ahead and play this on Java and also on Bedrock. But I did show you guys the Bedrock server port so you guys can go ahead and join. But on to the number six spot. ECPE is your number one faction server for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Let's check it out. So once you go ahead and get on this server, they also do have the green die and also the gray die. So that guy is out of here. But let's go ahead and bring him back then you guys can go ahead and navigate to this compass right here and you can go to op factions they have normal factions they have a lot going on with this server which is pretty cool but we are here for op factions so let's go ahead and check it out and we got to go ahead and download a resource pack which you know a lot of servers have been doing this lately i don't know what this resource pack is going to be for it definitely says ecpe so that's one thing so a little bit of server branding going on and then you can go ahead and check the change log as well so let's go ahead and look at this server server we can go ahead and redeem our kit just by typing in kit and it's going to go ahead and bring up this menu right here then you want to go ahead and redeem it you guys can go ahead and click on claim all to get every single kit that is redeemable for you guys so if you want to go ahead and place down this kit you guys got to go ahead and do slash wild and we're out in the where the heck are we okay this is like so dark i don't even know what is going on out here so what the heck so now we can go ahead and place our kit and we get a bunch of iron armor and it is OP faction for a reason. They're not just starting us off with leather armor, chainmail armor, or gold armor. They are going straight for the iron armor and it also does have some pretty good protection as well but you guys know how to go to play factions you can go ahead and claim your land and then people are going to try to raid you by actually having tnt cannons which is definitely a pretty complicated thing in my personal opinion and i don't know how to go to make those so on to the number five spot imperial is probably one of my favorite skyblock servers out there on minecraft bedrock edition when joining the game you got to go ahead and download a resource pack so keep that in mind and again it will have the logo at the very top the server used to be very very dead but it seems like they actually have brought it back you can go ahead and read through a lot of the rules and things like that which is cool so let's go ahead and close out of that but we actually have our starter kit we have like the sword so if you guys want to go ahead and navigate to your island you guys could type in slash is and it's going to go ahead and bring up this menu right here so we can go ahead and create our island so let's go ahead and name it shiftery like that let's go and now we can go ahead and navigate to it and we are ready they also have a guide for you but personally i don't need that because i'm really good at skyblock and what i like about this is you can also customize what type of island so there was a bunch of different options for the island as well but just take a look at this guys you can see that the island is way more advanced than most of them i believe they also have pets on here as well we can go ahead and talk to carl and he's gonna go ahead and i guess he doesn't well he has something for us you can go ahead and buy some stuff we can go ahead and sell stuff to him which is pretty cool so mix actual skyblock block really really easy but on to the number four spot which is going to be zequa zequa is probably one of the best pvp servers so let's get right into it 
when you get into the server, you can actually click on this nether star, and there's a bunch of different servers, because as you guys know, PvP can be laggy in different countries. They all have different ping. So this server is extremely popular in Asia, as you guys could see. So let's go ahead and click on NA, because that's where we're from, and then let's go ahead and jump right into this. They have ranked, they have unranked, which is really cool. This server definitely has a lot of things that you guys can go ahead and check out. And unfortunately, it seems like a lot of the servers out right now aren't really specializing in any type of gameplay as you guys know so we were actually on sumo so they don't actually do any oh well we already failed so let's get out of there but as you guys know they don't specialize in any type of pvp which is kind of unfortunate but what's not unfortunate is actually killing this guy so let's go ahead and get him and you guys know the game rule sumo so we can go ahead and pvp him wait hold on how is he comboing us hold on hold on hold on, hold on. wait how is he this good wait okay i'm gonna go ahead and hit him with this i'm not i got him i got him got him okay we're gonna hit him with this and you guys get the point it is actually pretty oh we're comboing him oh this guy's on mcpe he's not good at all this guy needs the controller or something what the heck as you guys can see he is done oh comboing combo 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 we got him we got him oh he's on the offensive hold on guys hold on guys nope Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the game and jump into the number four spot because knocking people off of this giant platform is harder than I thought. 2B2E is your premium anarchy server and it has a lot of people. So let's go to see how destroyed this thing is. So I spawn into the anarchy server and it seems like it's super difficult to go ahead and get out of spawn. As you guys can see, this is actual pure chaos pretty crazy stuff but a lot of people have been hacking on here so as soon as zephyr and Orion actually updates then we'll be able to go ahead and figure out what type of destruction is going to be able to be possible with the brand new hacks so as you can see we are actually here oh there is a zombie right here and it is just pure anarchy and there is no trees like it's just anywhere if you think about it but there have been a lot of anarchy servers out there that i showcased via realms but they weren't really as good they actually have pretty much trees everywhere and you guys know how i feel about trees on the anarchy server they should not be there at all we got to make it as hard for the new people as possible so chop them all down but anyways let's go to jump into the number three spots which is going to be the gta server or craft death auto so let's check it out so when you first spawn in i don't know why you would actually spawn in with blind is but let's go ahead and check out what they got going on here so everything is locked off except for this one right here so i actually really hope that they do go ahead and bring back las vegas because it was actually the easiest and funnest map to go ahead and check out so once you guys go through this water portal right here you guys will be greeted with the map itself and pretty much how you play gta is you walk around and there's chest everywhere you can go ahead and shoot people and it's a whole lot of fun so as you guys can see right here there's a lot going on at spawn there's a decent amount of people on right now but i do want to go and see more people on this server as you guys can see right here we can go ahead and talk to this guy and i believe they're actually going to go ahead and give us some food yep just as expected we can go ahead and buy food it's literally just like burger shot from gta 5. typing in the command slash kit will go ahead and give you guys a weapon and also some shoes and also some free food or I, yeah it gives you free food still which is pretty cool so if you guys want to go ahead and get into this and then you guys can go ahead and warp around the map i believe there is a sign somewhere to go ahead and warp you guys out of spawn right here is the most wanted guy so you can go ahead and place bounties on people which is definitely a pretty cool feature i believe they also give you an apartment or actually a plot i'm not sure but we also have this one right here you can go ahead and buy a bunch of different blocks definitely a really really nice touch so highly recommend checking this out but anyways let's go to jump into the number two spot which is going to be the super smp and i know what you guys are saying maybe i'm just biased because it has super inside of it and my name is super shiftery but we're going to go ahead and check it out to see exactly what it's about so we are on the server right now how the heck did we end up all the way up there have no clue but as you guys can see we're on the smp and it actually has i believe it has a decent amount of people i'm not sure oh we can go ahead and join a bunch of different ones looks like they changed up things quite a bit since the last time i've been on here so they actually have a hub now before it used to spawn directly into the server so definitely a very nice touch and now we are actually in the smp we're actually where the heck are we for some weird reason, I am thousands and thousands of blocks up in the sky. I have no clue how we got up here. This is kind of crazy. 
So I had to go ahead and join a completely different server because it was a little bit broken But I'm pretty sure for you guys you won't be negative 3,000 blocks underneath the world in an infinite freefall You guys should definitely be okay but anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number one spot, which is actually well deserved. Hyperlands is probably one of the most popular minigame servers that is not featured, so let's check it out. The main reason why it's not a featured server, and you do have to go ahead and download a resource pack, is because it actually copies Hypixel quite a bit when you really think about it. It's called Hyperlands, we have Hypixel, and I guess the names are similar. And then we can go ahead and go through the lobbies, and we can go ahead and check out some of their games. Let's go ahead and check out the bridge. And we're going to go ahead and do this as a solo member here. We're going to go ahead and get right down to business. So we're actually ready to start. And they have Sky Wars. They have Bed Wars. The Bridge. UHC. This is just such a cool mini game server. Pretty hard to go ahead and get mini servers to go. Or mini game servers to go ahead and pop off. Mainly because they actually do require. Oh, we're going to go ahead and. Ooh, he ain't ready. He ain't ready. It's over. It's over. He should have just hung it up. Got it. Oh, ha, ha. As you can see how easy that is, but it's pretty hard to go to get mini game servers to go out and do well, especially because they have so many people that need to go out and join. And if you want to go ahead and oh, let's get oh oh, he actually thought he was gonna stop me. Oh my goodness, this guy is just so bad. But anyways, let's go ahead and finish off this game real quick. Oh my goodness, guys, this guy really thought he was good. Like, what the heck? Okay, let's go ahead and do it one more time. We're gonna do it on. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Are you even trying? Are you even trying? Is this guy... Is he okay? I, I, I don't know what's going on. But we have three points right now. We just need two more to go ahead and win this. And honestly, this guy definitely might need a teammate just to go ahead and stop me. Because I'm just the ultimate player. Just like this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, and he thought he was going to knock me off. Oh my goodness. Like, what is this guy doing? And we just need one more point to go ahead and score on this guy. I just don't know how. And we're going to go ahead and... How does he not get the pitcher? So let's... Oh. Jump over, jump over. Oh, 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 he thinks he's gonna stop. <laughs> what? And pretty much we have one, and that's pretty much the video. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the top 10 servers for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.